Greetings, OMEA adjudicators. My name is JD Latour, and I am a member of the Adjudicate Events Committee. I'm currently serving as March Man Affairs Chair, and I want to talk today real briefly about Competition Suite and uh, the adjudicator side of it, what it looks like, um, and how this move is going to happen here over the next few months as we get ready for large group season and beyond. So in my current capacity as March Man Affairs Chair, I supervise the transition for the OMEA March Man world to Competition Suite back in 2021. And I know we had a lot of questions at the time and some concern about the new technology, and I'm sure there's some concern out there now. So Bill Thomas, I know he's already pushed out some information to folks about Competition Suite. I wanted to put together a short video just kind of showing you how it works. Um, and, and whatever you think it is, trust me, it's probably much easier than you expect. And I know that was definitely the reaction of our March Man Adjudication Corps as we made the transitions away from SD recorders. So that's that's the thing I want to stress. It, it is really so much easier than SD cards uh, for both you as the adjudicator, but also especially for our, our membership, our directors, as they attend uh, adjudicated events. So I think we all know it uses a smartphone. It doesn't have to be an iPhone. It doesn't have to be Android. It can be any type of smartphone, uh, whatever platform and, and device you choose. It can't be a flip phone, though. It has to be a, a smartphone, but I think almost everybody these days has one of those. Um, the first thing you need to do, and I know Bill pushed out the specific information about this, is set up an account, and I'll put a real quick video together here. Um, very simple. You can do it on your phone or your computer. I would probably do it on my computer because I can type faster on my computer than I can on my phone, but it, it doesn't matter. You're going to set up the your uh, account on the competition website, competition suite website. You can see that here. Just a few little pieces of information. Um, and then be under the hood, once you've created that account, it connects with our OMEA side of things um, and bills the, the person who puts that all together. But very straightforward. Takes takes maybe three minutes tops. Um, and once you have that account set up, nothing really happens until you get assigned to an event. And I'm going to switch over to my phone here so you can see this. So here's my phone. Oh, and it's important to remember that you can use a tablet or an iPad or whatever. It doesn't have to be a phone. You can see that I have two apps that have the competition suite kind of icon iconography there. One is actually labeled competition suite and one is just labeled judge. The one that's labeled competition suite with the with the cassette recorder there or audio cassette actually is how I play back uh, commentary that my band has received but also my commentary as an adjudicator. One thing that's neat about competition suite is that it obviously archives all of our recordings for the the uh, the director but also their archive for us as an adjudicator. So it's a great learning thing. We've been integrated that a bunch in terms of marching man events, um, how adju adjudicators can go back and listen to their own tapes and get feedback from others. I mean, it, there's just a lot of professional development capabilities that are kind of baked into this. But just to recap real quick, um, when you're downloading the apps, the one you'll use for adjudication is actually the one with the gavel because you're kind of a judge, right? We don't use that term as much anymore, but it's still true. So I'm going to click on the judge app. And you can see I have one event here scheduled. And I set this up just for this, this video that I'm doing today. Um, if this was a real March Man event, it would list the host school and, and the date, of course, um, or a large group event. So I'm just going to click on that. And you can see I don't have a whole lot of information here because this is a demo event. So there's not a lot of ensembles performing. But across the top, I would have, of course, the information about the uh, the event, the location, and I would have the classes of the ensembles performing. And it would typically, of course, have probably class C, class B, class A, class AA. Uh, this one just has two classes because it's a demo event. Let's click on class A, and you can see there's two ensembles scheduled to perform. Burn Union is first. So let's say I'm the adjudicator at the event, and Burn Union is coming up on stage about to perform. I'd click on that, and you can see that I have kind of very simple recording controls here, right? I've got a record button, a stop button, a pause button. And if I hit the record button, notice the counter starts to move and the, uh, uh, the level meter there on the right indicates that I'm recording. And I can hit pause. It even says it up the top. I can hit pause very much like you would on your SD recorder. Uh, I know most of us probably do our introduction while the band, the choir, orchestra is getting set up on stage. And depending on how long that takes, maybe we let it roll, maybe we don't. Perhaps we pause it. Um, and then, of course, once the ensemble is about to start performing, we hit the resume button on our SD recorder. And I can do that here, as you just saw. So I pause the recording, and I get several indicators that it's recording there, that kind of uh, blinking light at the bottom, the level indicator there over on the right. And when the ensemble is done, I simply hit stop. And it even says it there, all set. Um, and that recording now has gone up into the cloud. It's off my phone. 
it's not recorded to my phone actually it's it's pushed up into the cloud uh, through the wireless network at the host event and now it's downloadable or listenable to anybody that's listed as a staff member for that ensemble um, and it happens pretty much instantly so if this was a real event that director would probably on, be on his or her way to site reading um, or critique or whatever was next and uh, they would get a notification on their phone that they're recording the comments from their adjudicator panel was already there, which is pretty awesome how fast it is. So back to me as an adjudicator, I just finished that first group and I go back and I can see Taze Valley is next. So I'm gonna hit Taze Valley and same thing. I would hit the record button and begin my recording and my adjudicated commentary and hit stop and process repeats itself. So you can see how I can scroll across the top here to find which class I need. Class AA, maybe this is the last event of the night. Grove City's ensemble is performing. And again, the same process here. I see, press the red button and starts recording. And that's all I have to do. There's no uh, upload off of my phone that I have to handle or emailing. It, it's all under the hood, it, it, which is pretty awesome. Um, once you hit that stop button, you, you're done. And obviously there's always the potential for error at recording um, a group on the wrong account or something, but there's lots of robust uh, systems in place for the event chair to handle those situations and fix it. One observation I've made, or just what I really like about Competition Suite, is it's almost bulletproof. It's, it's pretty rare for there to be a problem with the actual system. Um, and when there is, we have a few backup plans in place we've used a few times in Marching Man, but for the most part, especially from the adjudicator perspective, it's, it's very rock solid, very reliable, so much more reliable than SD cards were. Um, our first year in Marching Man, moving from SD cards to... Uh, to competition suite, we literally had a a, um, a 10 to 1 reduction in the amount of errors that were reported. So in it, for example, um, every week we would get notifications from, from, from participating directors saying, hey, my SD cards are blank or I don't have any commentary here. Um, if that number was 100 after the end of the season, it was 10 uh, after competition suite, after we switched the, to the competition suite. It was almost unheard of to have errors like that. So that's, that alone is it was a huge... Uh, advantage for us and especially for our membership so i'm very excited about this move for large group i think our membership's been has been asking for it for a while um i know it's a little stressful for our adjudicators but i i think uh once you've sat down and had a chance to utilize it uh those fears will, will definitely be remedied and we'll set up quite a few virtual sessions like i just did a virtual session there what i just did um and the nice thing about that is bill or i or the rest of the ae committee can actually listen into the commentary just make sure your setup is working um so you can do a test recording several times if you need to before you get to actually adjudicate so you can feel very comfortable with technology uh, that first time you walk down and or adjudicate an orchestra or a choir or a band. Some folks are going to ask about external mics and, and I know many of us have a, kind of an elaborate setup already that we utilize. Um, Bill's going to push out information about the specifics of what our options are. If you're curious about whether your current setup can be integrated into your phone, um, that's probably a very specific question, which we can we'll work hard to answer that. But Bill's going to give you some specific information about what you could purchase, uh, because obviously holding your phone while you're trying to turn pages on a score uh, might not be the best setup for, for some of us. Uh, but if you're used to holding your SD recorder, then it's not going to be any different. But if you're used to having kind of a setup microphone there and having your hands free, that absolutely is possible with this as well. It just might involve a little bit of purchase to set up some new technology. So the, the quick takeaway is we have lots of folks who can help with this, um, not just members of the AE committee, but obviously a big chunk of our adjudication core because of Marching Band has already been using this technology for several years now. So we have lots of resources to draw upon. Um, certainly, if you feel a little stressed about this, this process, please reach out to Bill, reach out to me, reach out to somebody because um, we want to help you out and we want to make this transition as easy for you as possible. So I hope this was helpful. And again, please reach out if you have any questions.